Hello, and uh, we're going to talk about Easy Tiger now, which is in your grade 2 list. Um, a good warm-up for this one is the D minor scale that you've been practicing. If you haven't been practicing, guess what? You need to. Okay, so I'm just going to play the D minor scale, and this is more or less the range of what we're going to do Easy Tiger in. And slurred for good luck. Don't forget to take lots and lots of air when you're playing the scale. Make sure you can get all the way up that octave and back down again in one go. The more you practice it, the easier it will be. As soon as you can play that scale, Easy Tiger becomes very easy indeed. Okay, so the first few notes of Easy Tiger, starting at bar five, is just the first part of the scale. <laughs> Did you hear the scale going up there? I also pinged the notes because under each note in bar 5 there's a little V on its side which is an accent. So you can do that with air or with your tongue. Listen once again. Just ping it like a bell. Now, bars 5 and 6 are exactly the same as bars 9 and 10. And then also that comes along again in bar 25 and 29. So once you've practiced the first couple of bars, you've got a fair bit of this piece already learned. So we'll go from bar five once more. And now what I want you to think about is the way I play bar six, the second bar for you. And this is in a swing style. So I'm, I'm not playing da, 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 da. It's nice and laid back. And um, so you've been practicing the swing style. Just remember, put words to it. I like to think scuba dee doo. If you think of Scooby Doo, you should be able to get this. Have a listen for Scooby Doo. Scooby-Doo in bar 6 and bar 10. That comes in quite a bit throughout this piece. Now there's a big leap in here. We have a top D, which is the top note of your range for grade 2. Uh, so we're looking at bar 9, 10, 11. You've got that high D. So it's worth playing from the F to the D as an exercise. <laughs> in bar 11 okay so make sure you spend plenty of time practicing your interval practices make sure you do it on the whole scale as well on the scale of D, D minor uh, practice it on D major as well it's, it's all good practice and it'll give you this the same interval to, uh, and you'll be able to get it right so you can see there's lots and lots of places to breathe in this piece if you look at the very beginning you've got four bars introduction which is where the piano will play for you. And all you have to do is to be able to count one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, and so on. Four, two, three, four, and then you are in on bar five. If you look at bar 14, have a look along to bar 14, and you can see you've got an entire bar there, a whole bar's rest. Two bars later, a whole bar's rest at bar 16. So lots of breathing space in there, this. Easy to get rid of your excess water, open your water key in those places. If you jump over to the other page and have a look at bar 21, you've also got another four bars rest there. So you count it exactly the same as the beginning, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, and so on. And then bar 25, it's just like playing from the beginning again. So you've already learned that bit. The ending is slightly different. But if you practice the D minor scale, you're going to play, be able to play the end as well. 
lots and lots of music that we do, you will find that just playing an arpeggio or playing the scale of the piece that it's written in will help you get through it. There are some chromatics. So if you have a look at bar 19, for instance, we've got F sharp, G, G sharp, A. And it grows in dynamic and each note is pinged like a bell. It's got accents on each note. So let's have a listen to that bit now. I'll go from bar 17, which is mezzo piano. <laughs> Then here comes the chromatic. One, two, three, four. Lots of rest while you're counting. Get rid of the excess water. Let's finish it off. We'll go from bar 25. get too lazy when you get to the last note the whole bar is four beats and it's tied to the previous note one two three and and two three four off so make sure you count all the way through that because if there are any musicians when you perform this in the room they will be listening to that sort of thing in an exam situation the examiner will definitely be listening for the length of notes so make sure that all your minims are the right length and your, your whole bars with the semi-breeves, make sure they are the same length. So go away, practice lots, and I'll see you soon. Bye.